Hello there everybody, Dunk the Muffin Man is back today to watch some Goblin Slayer episode 11. First of all, welcome to all you new viewers, regular viewers and subscribers. I hope you enjoy your stay here today. Now, if you're wondering why I did not uh, do the reaction for last week, well it's a recap. I ain't, look, I, I ain't got no time to react to recap, okay? So, continuing on from the last episode, there were some goblin tracks dangerously co close to the goblin slayer's home. So, I guess we'll see how the goblin slayer confronts those goblins and how he uh, completely destroys them, huh? In any case, let's get right into the episode. Again, thank you so much for watching and the anime reaction begins now. There we go. It's too much. E even for the Goblin Slayer, it's too much. Hmm. But... Because they're organized. A hobgoblin. Sh no. Goblin king. Wow, he's actually frightened. He's actually has... He's frustrated. Actual frustration from the Goblin Slayer. Oh, she is staying, okay. Hmm. Come on. Because she's worried about him. Damn. First time I've ever seen the Goblin Slayer or heard him make. No, no, no. Wow, this is some serious shit right here. Goblin Slayer asking for help. Are they gonna take this seriously? No! Don't take it seriously, please. Okay, I thought they weren't going to, going to take take it seriously because it's goblins. Hmm, I see. Wow, holy shit. He's desperate here. No, you idiots. These people are idiots. Well, 
the writers doing a good job of 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 making me hate hate these adventures. I really hope that everybody comes out unscathed, but that's not gonna happen, right? These guys might die. <laughs> these, these two might die here. I'm feeling a little bit hyped, but I'm a little bit kind of worried because uh, anything could happen. Please, please make it. What the hell? Human shields, I see what they are doing. Sleep, okay. These are just the first wave, guys. They have a lot more to take out. They definitely caught the first wave of of guard though. Okay, destruction. Oh my lord. So Goblin Slayer informed inform them about the riders then. Impaled. Oh, take them all out. What are you doing? Damn, this lady is buff. Holy shit, look, look at this one. She take and she buff. Oh shit. <laughs> Here they come, the big boys. This is where the real test starts. I'm so worried guys.
she's she um sounds a, a little bit tired now, doesn't she? Yeah, where is it? I guess he's going for the leader. The king is running away. He 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 knows he has to run. He already knew. <laughs> Perfect. That was worth the wait. Holy shit. That was so good. Guys, that was worth the wait. Oh my lord. I'm getting chills, guys. Chills. Chills. I was worried that somebody was gonna die, but nobody did. I was worried that goblin... Anyway, to anybody who reached at this point in the video, thank you for watching. I'm gonna do a recap. I'm gonna talk about what I talked about the episode. So if you wanna, if you want to stick around for the for the discussion part of the episode, feel free to do so. If not, I'll see you guys next week for the final episode of Goblin Slayer. I need to I really need to talk about this episode. I really do. So for the meantime, thank you for watching and the discussion portion of the video begins now. There we go. Right here the Goblin Slayer it, it begins with a conversation between the Goblin Slayer and Cowgirl here. The Goblin Slayer for the first time I have seen shows shows actual like concern um for what is to come. And the goblin horde that he foresees he knows when they're gonna come he wants the cowgirl and tells her to run all right it does seem to me too that the goblin slayer has he 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 has somehow he has faced a goblin horde of this magnitude and defeated them by himself he, he defeated a horde of this magnitude by himself in a cave he, he, he could defeat them like he could defeat a horde like that by himself if they're in a, in, in, in a cave in a confined space like that that's how good the goblin slayer is but he i guess even if they're in a cave he still has some some problems even if if you can single-handedly kill a hundred goblins by himself and a goblin lord and he could kill the big guys the big guys by himself that's how strong the goblin slayer is or how intelligent he is right so knowing all this from his past experiences, experiences facing this, uh, these goblin hordes, he knows that he needs help. He can't do this alone, and he knows that shit could hit the fan really badly, really quickly. So he informs this. He informs the cargo who we see oh, more that he truly cares about this, about the cargo out of any other of the girls that he's involved with. He truly does care about about the skull girl here all right it's the first time i've heard him song unsure of victory um he, he it's the first time i've seen i've seen him seen him like this i show this kind of emotion and it's kind of good for him to it, it, it really is enlightening for me to see him like this um it, it 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 sends some chills down down my spine when I heard him talk in this manner for the first time, or at least for the first time I've real as a, an adult, right? But Carl but Cargo refuses to to leave. She, as we know, she loves Goblin Slayer. For one, she won't leave somebody she loves, and she doesn't want him to go through the same experience again, right? She. She wants to trust in him 100% and believe that he can come true, all right? Even if he doesn't believe that he could do it initially, he, she believes in him, which pushes him forward, okay? Um, um, it's, it's probably because of her and her words that he is able to push forward to, to, to even want to seek help, all right? 
I think he would have seek sought like sought out her, but it, it, it she 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 really is a, a a good balance for him. Um, they do mix well together. Out of all the other girls, even more than maybe um, even more than the sword maiden, who understands the goblins as the goblins leader does. All right. In any case, we move moving on to the next scene. Alright, we, uh, we had this scene here at the bar, which was uh, quite a powerful scene for me. To see the Goblin Slayer willing to give everything. Ev his, pretty much, he, he, was, well, he was willing to give ev everything except his life because he didn't want to make the car, the car go cry because of his death. He was willing, willing to give everything except his life to to um ask for help from the girl members now at first they didn't take him like seriously because it's goblins but they came to know the goblin slayer as being a solo adventurer so for him to ask for help kind of threw them off guard but there were a lot of them who still after hearing about the goblin horde did not want to help right so eventually he got the guy with the spear under his uh to to want to follow him, to want to help, right? And then more and more of um, his party members came to more like encourage the rest to to follow along uh, as well. Now, this is where I need your help, you manga readers or those who read the light no novel, okay? Those who read the source materials of any kind, please, please help me out here. Right here. Did she use a spell? I think the, I can't remember what she said in, at this point, but right here she breathes out some kind of mist. Did she use a spell to um to attract or to 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 sway some of the men in the guild? Feel free to tell me that. I'm quite curious because I'm not too sure if she, I I I guess she used a spell, but was that spell to attract the other men? to be more likely to follow her or f or or follow along with this um with this uh with this thing here with this with the with with the with the quest please tell me that is one thing i want to know if anybody reached to this point in the video okay please tell me in 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 the comment section please all right so um so after that the girl lady i hear the fact that this, she she doesn't have a name but the girl lady um appeared and said that everybody who participates in the quest and kills a goblin gets one gold coin for each goblin killed so that if so if there was any more in the background who did not um who was not going along with this or those who were not even at the girl present that day or at that particular time they would see the quest on the board and because it's one gold coin per, per each goblin they are more likely to come all right so that 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 this this scene it, it was good to see all our regular adventurers like the witch the spear guy the good lady all of them coming together to help the goblin slayer all right so yeah this was a, a really nice scene i loved it I, again it was good to see the goblin actually he bowed to them. He begged them for help. That again, sending chills down my spine just talking about it. Okay, so let's move on to the next scene. At this scene here, the goblins came came in and they meant business. They had these what looked like humans. I I I I was I was gonna say elves, but I can't tell if they're elves, but. They brought in uh, these humans, these humans here as as meat shields, so the opposition will be less likely to strike back. This was only the first wave. That goblin lord um, that was showed before, a little bit before this point. He's done this before. He he knows this shit, and this was just the first wave he sent out. Um, to more like test the waters. It, fe it it felt like this first wave was was not even like serious. He had a backup plan. He had backups. He had backups planned. Okay, 
<laughs> he had many plans if this one was to fail okay so uh, that goblin that goblin king or goblin lord was no joke all right but luckily um our the witch and the uh, and the dwarf came to uh, i think it was sleep sleep she am said sleep and it sounded like the dwarf said drunk or something like that i guess sleep and drunk drunken or something so they fell asleep and that was the first wave okay as they move forward from that point more and more gob goblins came came out more and more and i was sure that this wasn't the first that this that this wasn't all there was to it because you saw the big buff ones in the background when I didn't see them appear at this point, I was like, no, there's more. It's not over, chief. It ain't over. All right. So then afterwards, and then afterwards, I'm just doing this as a summary. Okay. Then we had the goblins who managed to tame dogs or wolves. I didn't even know that the goblins even cared about raising animals like that, but I guess they do. Um, I don't think, was it shown? Did they ever show goblins like raising animals? Because I don't remember. I know they're like in the portal that they showed like I think in episode 9 or 8. Um, they did show the goblins living in this kind of society in this village beyond the portal. I can't remember if they were raising any animals but these um, were using the animals or the wolves to ambush. Okay. So the so the goblin lord had the first wave go out with the with the body shields and then the second wave come from behind or come from the side and go with the wolves um with well riders wolf riders wolf riding goblins to to uh more like a pincer attack so yeah that that was frightening and imagine the goblin slayer again said that he could deal with them in a cave how the even in, in a cave i imagine that these guys are really hard to, to defeat in their home in a cave right he he himself could defeat them in the cave by himself but he can't do it in the open because you know you can't it's harder to take them all out in a fell swoop in in the open right he needed help right he needed help there all right so we're moving on to the next scene right here it was shown that the reason why they were even successful is because the goblin slayer already knew what the goblins were gonna do before they did it he um he even recommended this like like the spears to impale the the goblin riders so they would essentially be the one who's killing themselves with the speed of their impact into the spear okay they didn't they, they didn't even see it coming you never see it coming yeah i can't sing persona 5 all right <laughs> they, those goblins did not see it coming all right so it was because of the goblins that he planned out everything he planned out every single move it, it was more like we we're seeing how the, how the Goblin Slayer would fight if he could have used multiple, like if he could have used a Shadow Clone. <laughs> I know this is not Naruto, but if you could have used like a Shadow Clone and use spells and have like different abilities, that's what he would have done. All right. Um. Alright, so again, it was because of him. So at this point the goblin the goblin lord was a little bit shocked to see that um his plan is not going as he um planned, I guess. So he sent out the big boys. He sent out I what I assume is his final flank or his best men to what it looked initially it looked like he sent out the hobgoblins to to take out the humans who most likely can't deal with hobgoblins at that size the big buff ones right 
But again, um, the Goblin Slayer already had this all planned out. He already knew what should what should be done, right? And all the strongest adventurers did um, come out to fight them, and they did. It did seem like they're dealing with them quite well, all right? But those those um men in the forest who were the first victims of the hobgoblin i felt so bad for them but they were like further characters so i guess it didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things which is kind of grim <sighs> but uh, in any case their death their their sacrifice have have to warn everybody of what is to come i guess <laughs> right so Initially, it, it did seem like the Goblin Lord did use use these goblin, these half goblins to fight, but no, he used this to save his own ass. He he used the goblin, the half goblins, to leave his fellow goblins away, to like leave to leave them and escape on his own. It it, it seemed like he 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 didn't really care. Um, he was safe. He was he, he was gonna gonna save his own ass. He didn't he didn't care if they all died. He, that was just there to distract everybody from the leader which was him but the goblin slayer already knew what the goblin lord would do and he ambushed the go <laughs> sorry about that he ambushed the goblin lord he surprised this old ass strong ass goblin lord although I, I don't think the goblin lord is as strong as the hog goblins I think he's smarter than them but I look forward to seeing what what the Goblin Lord will do next week. All right, I do look forward to seeing what he will 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 he display some human speech? Will the Goblin Lord be able to speak in human? Will the Goblin Lord beg for his life? Uh, whatever happens is not. If he speaks human, is not gonna save him. If he begs for his life, he's gonna die anyway. So, I think this is pretty pretty much. I think next week will pretty much wrap up the arc and first half will be action the second half will be like the epilogue and a bit of a chill scene maybe i don't know i really don't know but that's that's what i expect first half action the second half nice happy peacefulness yes maybe and set up for the next part of goblin slayer if they decide to bring out more of it okay but yeah this was quite the episode wait let me put Put this on the screen because this is quite the good stuff okay this moment right here I had to put on screen the image of the goblin slayer just walking out <laughs> walking out the forest that goblin lord was, sh was shitting himself that was so entertaining to see he was scared <laughs> I can't speak he was scared as hell right um one more thing I want to bring up um the witch lady did seem extremely tired like she was it was kind of like glossed over but she was really exhausted but and anyway that i had to like she was she looked really, really she looked really tired but i am i guess she's gonna make it she's just tired from using all the spells over and over like that to help everybody but in any case i can't wait to see the outcome of this 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 right here next week most likely the goblin lord will plead for his life and die anyway because the goblin slayer is he, he doesn't give a crap if he could kill goblin children that were innocent he's gonna kill a goblin lord it doesn't matter what the goblin lord does he, he could plead beg cry if he could if the goblin slayer could kill goblin children who had who were innocent technically um at the time they were innocent they were they were children he killed them he didn't care so yeah this goblin lord is dead i don't see any way of him living um so yeah rip goblin rip goblin lord <laughs> next week he has nobody to help him as far as we see he has no weapons maybe he has some concealed in his cape he might maybe beg and maybe try to to, to stab the goblin slayer sorry about that it was getting a little bit extra bright there <laughs> in any case yeah he uh, might try to he might try to plead for his life and stab the goblin slayer but that's it's not gonna work okay in any case um guys to anybody who reached at this point in the video thank you so much for watching much appreciated okay 
All right, I'll be back next week for the final episode of Goblin Slayer. All right, so if um first of all um I also do stream on Twitch. If you're wondering why I don't make more YouTube videos, is because it's hard to stream and make YouTube videos consistently, at least for me anyway. All right, so that's that's um if you're wondering why I don't make more videos, is that's because Twitch. All right, but if you do, um, feel free to stop by in my Twitch channel. I do stream a lot. I do stream quite a bit. And so feel free to stop by, okay, in my Twitch channel. If you even care about Twitch, I know I know not all, not all of you care about Twitch, but if you do, and you want more of the Muffin Man, the times when I'm not uploading videos, well, the times when I do upload, feel free to come by in Twitch. All right. I'm also on Twitter from time to time, so feel free to do so, although I only have like 19 people <laughs> following me, but anyway, I digress, that's not really all that important, right? Um, again guys, thank you so much for being here, much appreciated, I will be back for the final episode, okay, so, as usual, goodbye, so long, and farewell, goodbye.